व्यास मीडिया नेटवर्क Obviously, I want more people to buy EVs. That's mm-hmm. why I am pro EVs on this. No doubt on that. Mm-hmm. More EVs we're gonna have, less, rel- less reliant we're gonna be in petroleum, and more we're gonna go ahead and use our own energy. I come from a time when bloody I had to carry uh, uh, study and give a SLC in Ottawa, Ontario, load shedding, man. You know. So as a body, I'm like, who's gonna be? I'm right. more than merrier on this, you know. Mm-hmm. And I, d- I'm more excited to see Toyota do more things with BYD or do more things absolutely, in absolutely. electric vehicles, you know. Mm-hmm. What's the future? Eh? I'm, sh- I'm, I know that you've studied m- way more than me on this, you know. You hydrogen go kura se kio kas. Sure. Um, I think uh, when we look at Toyota and hydrogen development also, there's something that Akio Toyota, which is the ex-CEO, took a very big stance um, saying, okay, hybrid and hydrogen. I think his whole philosophy, and I'm quite on board with it, is, uh, again, going for a diversified portfolio. You need different things for different things. It's kind of like a balanced diet. It's like you have to have a little bit of... sag chicken dal alu sapai oh. instead of just relying on just one one source of mobility as well so i think what his intention was to completely diversify and give people an an alternate um to just battery le- uh, battery electric so i let's say there's fuel cell technology exactly uh, fuel cell technology is a little bit more of a chemical reaction that happens and you know you fuel up with uh, hydrogen um and then basically your emissions are is water um so that's one way the only thing with that is because it hasn't hit economies of scale it's still very expensive technology and especially hydrogen harnessing is also quite difficult um but toyota is actually th- this is me speaking about toyota because i know the most about the the brand um they're working on hydrogen combustion engines as well which is creating some excitement um they had a 1.5 liter uh, hydrogen combustion engine that they put in a race car in the same body of a GR Corolla um which is one of my dream cars but uh, and they actually had really good results where their power output was almost matching their internal combustion engines when it came to petroleum products as well looking at that um when you look at hydrogen and the development i think the infrastructure um is required um when when it comes to hydrogen generation but it could be the future as well why i am touching base on this because one of my first guests i know mero sabse first uh, top 10 guests me kamandu university par hai say is an a professor scientist on bathu you know one of my top 10 mm. guests i know teti khera koi le kalpana pani no wahan le garnu bhayo thiyo no probably ke u le garay thiyo no maile garay thiye ki aaj ko din ma hami kamandu university and overall i know we'll have a vehicle there you go There you go. That's Biraj. Uh, uh, that's Doctor Biraj, right? Ani, this is the vehicle, and of course, we are also small nation like ours is also in the forefront of when it comes to at least having a conversation about hydrogen and also moving ahead and uh, having a car that uh, gonna run on hydrogen. Okay, right? so we might be able to harness it. We might have that. We might work on that technology down the road. Mm-hmm. So that's something that if the world is looking into it. maybe we'll be one of the first adapters of yeah okay. i think uh, india is one of the heaviest investors in hydrogen i think that's also a very geopolitical move by them because again lithium is pretty much is owned 70% of lithium mines in the world are owned by china. china so i think looking at india co alternative how they want to be a little bit more relevant in the mobility scope is investing heavily in an alternate solution it's not again they're not saying that Uh, they don't want lithium oh. it's just that saying that there are alternatives that can be very very clean i think um when you look at the production of uh, it, uh, a hydrogen self uh, mm. vehicle and um, look at the well to tank so basically from the creation from mining to everything it's actually a very clean method of uh, producing a car um and then after that obviously driving and when your only emissions being water it's a very clean ecosystem that you're developing but i yeah. think um the mirai is something in um toyota that's always interested me i would love to drive one as well i've tried it out but uh, i think ita on a light it it'll be a, it won't be able to happen in a single push i think multiple people will have to be working towards bringing this and making the reality here because it has so many industries that are required to come in and work together to kind of go um f- into the future of hydrogen 
agreeing completely agreeing with you and uh, we will be one of the first adapters of it ke na tyo hamro tyo dekhai sakyo ta ba hai na bhai he is already shown it to Absolutely. us yes, that yes, we yes. as nepalis we will adapt it right no, i made pirasar like a month ago and i drove that car talon <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah i drove that it was really fantastic car and what he said me was really something that inspired me as well he said that if if you know there is a right support from the government bodies oh. and also the some other stakeholders like you know those who are into this industry like hyundai is into this toyota is into this in this mm. industry so there might be a very good uh uh-huh, opportunity for us to adopt into this hydrogen powered vehicles and it's all also it's not only about adopting to the hydrogen powered vehicles but it's also about so casing that we are the early adopter of the technology as well mm. so he was very excited and he led a team of some young people who were working not only with this uh, mobility segment with the hydrogen but other segment with the hydrogen as well and it was very much me being a graduate uh, you know online uh, from the okay. Kathmandu oh. Kar- University it was very much exciting for me to see the progression here and that's when we recently tied up with the Kathmandu University as well so i think we are tied up with kashmir university where we are asking we are taking the students as a intern not only in nepal but india and china as well mm. india and china as well the opportunities with the byd how is byd doing in india byd there uh uh-huh, because the price point and in india is expensive and it falls on the expensive side so on that segment they are doing okay but overall market overall in terms of overall market uh uh-huh, they are you know yet to hit the top gear Canada le 100% uh, yeah, tax lagayo hai na your chinese vehicles mein ho chinese vehicles mane ki ki ban yo canada le yes they said that the purely manufactured chinese vehicle will leave it to the 100% tax uh europe mein bhi i think now they have this 30% tax base sir uh, in us mein bhi 100% tax base sir uh, so you know if, for me it would be really easy to comment as a geopolitical things or any other things but things are we things will be i really believe way deep than that so there may be the the in they are trying the european they are asking the chinese to invest a plant uh canada hits china made electric cars with 100% tariff yes, right yes, 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 yes. it just uh, two days ago news yeah i think mm. so obviously ab mo drc tira janna haina mo africa tira janna haina tara euta specific kura chai malai ke garnu man thyo bhandari asti maile yo touch garay thye haina and please jump into this with what uh, battery that uh, it has as well sure. haina what exactly is uh, this lithium ion blade battery okay? what exactly is this and how is it different from everything else okay oh, so okay the lithium ion blade battery is am okay. i saying it correct mai thikai bhane ho ki i think mai le galat bhane you are not saying entirely wrong but then uh, this is how it goes okay lithium is a chemical right it's a core composition of the uh, battery lithium is battery and then there are different chemical com- uh, composition associated with lithium like lithium ion iron phosphate lithium ion phosphate only there then there is a lithium is associated nickel cobalt magnesium ncm battery so these are the chemical composition of battery and they, it has different characteristic like ncm battery their energy de- density is very very uh, high so less kilo let's capacity ncm battery can give more uh, power than the uh, lfp battery lithium ion batteries but then the charge cycle of ncm battery is less while the charge cycle of lfp battery is more so it has own character now coming to the blade battery the most advanced battery we call it the byd blade battery uh, it's actually a shape the whole lfp battery the chemical is same but then it's shaped into the blade mm. so from there is a cell at the initial level Yeah, you see the, yes, the blade. This shape. is the yes. one. Yeah, it, the chip. You can see. So one uh, blade is one specific one. So you have a bigger one, or to nickel it, or go all the nickel. Okay, sir. So actually, the in battery, my sir, what is it? There will be start from the battery whole pack. See, segregated normal conventional battery is segregated into sano cell, then from cell to module, then yeah. module to the battery pack. So this is the the you know. whole whole part of so the so mere phone mai euta blade cha bhanum na testai to hoina hoina tapai ko phone whole battery packs whole battery packs ah tesma san san cell cha module huncha module to ani battery pack bancha tapai ko chai so byd pioneered this byd yes byd pioneered byd is the only manufacturer of blade battery right now blade is a shape actually 
So it's just the way generally it's packaged because traditionally, like if you look at Tesla and all of the, most of the world other than BYD, I think, they use single cells, which pretty much looks very close to a AA battery. Oh, okay. Um, and they just put many into modules and then you could put multiple modules to make a battery right pack back. as well. So I think that's very similar to what this is, but it's packaged very differently. No, so now sorry, what no is this? Modules modules no, no, no modules. No right? modules. It's yeah. a cell to pack. It's, right. It's, it's cell, cell to pack. pack. Yeah. So you would say oil ego. Uh, the, this is the new one. What, what exactly is this? No, this is the old one. Okay, this is the old one. And then go back to the other picture. And this is the new one. Right. This is the blade one. This is the blade thing. It's a blade shape. There is no module from cell to yeah. pack itself directly. So if we just go back one second. Uh, um, or, or the whole way. Sorry. Uh, the, no. the old one, eh? So you can see there's many different packs. Yeah. Um, like there's different like boxes. If it's your, it's and double A batteries. Are still. Yeah. Oh. So the, it's basically double A batteries. Something that looks like it is inside this. And it's a combination of these packs that make the whole battery. Mm. So in BYD, it's a, you don't have the cells. Modules. With yeah. it's, uh, what do we do with Ether? Ether is actually a you don't mind me asking. No, no. no. Uh, it's, it's the cells to a battery pack. Um, and actually it's one of the leading battery technology in India when it comes to mobility as well. Mm. Looking at the, you know, I think you were seeing um, the 70% depletion as well. So we have a guarantee as well. Like within five years, if you reduce uh, beneath 70%, we replace it free of cost and under warranty and everything. Um, and one thing that was really interesting, Asti, we went to the community day, which is basically like their big one, once a year event. Uh, in the Bangalore. Ma. Oh. That's a the very interesting piece of data that the founder showed, Tarun showed, was uh, the average battery life of a five-year-old Aether, which was the first Aether that was first built, was average was 90%. Mm. Mm. So looking at the depletion and the degradation of the battery was around only 10%. Um, and I think it's super interesting because I think the battery technology is also ever developing and there's so many new avenues going forward. I think BYD being at the forefront is super interesting. I am... Um, that's why I think it's important to even look at Toyota when they're uh, doing their development right now. A large promise that they've made is working on solid state batteries. Yes. Um, and solid state batteries is, you know, claims that they're making is around 1,200 kilometers range um, and potentially charge times under five minutes to get 1,200 kilometers. <laughs> Subscribe on an obit sinu hola. Vyas Media Network.